Okay, so what we want to do is write balanced chemical equations corresponding to the heat of formation for each one of these substances. Now remember, the heat of formation for each substance is the amount of heat to form the substance, one mole of it, from elements in their standard state. So for each one of these, we only want to make one mole of this substance. Now the way that we go about doing this is first identifying the elements in the compound and also identifying if we happen to know, some of these we will know, some of them we may not, um, what is the standard state of that element, okay? And so the reactants will be standard elements in their standard states and we're going to form only one mole of each individual compound. So let's look at ethanol first, CH3OH, okay? And we can see that it has carbon in it, hydrogen, and oxygen. And so we've seen carbon in other examples, so we might remember that the standard state for carbon is solid graphite, the graphite allotrope, okay? Now it's going to react with hydrogen gas, because that's hydrogen in its standard state and oxygen gas. Okay, And then remember we're only going to form one mole of this substance. Okay, Alright, now, now the other thing that we need to do is make sure that this equation is balanced. Okay, And so we have one carbon on each side, we're good there. We have four hydrogens on the product side and so we need to put a coefficient 2 right here. And then notice we only have one oxygen here, and this is the time when we get to use fractional coefficients, okay? Because remember, we're only allowed to make one mole of the substance, so we can only use one half mole of our oxygen in its standard state. Let me move that plus sign over a little bit, okay? So there is the equation that relates to the standard enthalpy of formation for ethanol. Okay, so why don't you try calcium carbonate, so pause this and try it, and then we'll go over the answer. Do the same thing for potassium chloride. Okay, so let's go ahead and start by writing down the elements that are in calcium carbonate, okay? And the standard state for calcium is calcium metal, calcium solid, okay? Again, carbon graphite. Somehow this comes about a lot, doesn't it? Okay, and then oxygen gas. Okay, and then there's our calcium carbonate. Remember we only want to make one mole. Okay, all right. So now let's make sure it's balanced. So we have one calcium on each side, we have one carbon on each side, but we have three oxygens on the product side in calcium carbonate and only two in our element side. So we are going to put a coefficient of three halves. So that will give us three oxygen atoms. Okay? All right. So there's the balanced equation for calcium carbonate that corresponds to the standard enthalpy of formation. All right. Last one. Let's work on potassium chloride. Okay, so potassium metal, that's the standard state for potassium, and chlorine gas, okay, that's the standard state for chlorine, and we're making, again, one mole of potassium chloride, solid, okay, so we only have one chlorine in our product, and so again, we need to use a fractional coefficient, so one half of these chlorine diatomics for this substance. Okay? 